when you give the patent to the government, you have to sign a document that you give them the patent. And a legal document is not a legal document unless there's some exchange. And so they say for the sum of one dollar, you give this to the government. Hmm. Okay? It's some dopey legal thing. So you gave the patent for one dollar. And so I said to the guy in the office, where's my dollar? <laughs> so he says, well, that's just formal. That's just the subsidy. I said, look, it's a real document, and I'm, it's legal, and you made me sign, you know, I'm always like a fool around. I said, if you really say, if I sign a thing saying I got a dollar, I've got to get a dollar because I'm a straight and honest man, and there is no fooling around about it. He said, oh, he says, this is silly. He says, we haven't got any funds set up to give a dollar. I said, well, that doesn't make any difference. You got it all set up that I'm signing for the dollar. You know what I mean, and so forth. So I kept arguing back and forth. He said, all right, he says, I'll give you a dollar from my pocket. It's okay. So I take his dollar. Then I realize why I'm not to him. So I go down to the grocery store and I buy a dollar's worth, which is pretty good then, of those chocolate cookies with marshmallow inside and a whole lot of goodies. Okay, and I come back into the theoretical laboratory and I give them out. I have a prize. I have a prize. A dollar. I got a dollar for my patent. I got a dollar for my patent. I give it to everybody. Result. Everybody who has one of these patents, because it was easy. A lot of people had been sending things in. Lots of patents. Everybody come down, they want their dollar. <laughs> he starts shelling them out of his pocket. Then he realizes it's going to be a hemorrhage. It's going to be that. And they got crazy trying to set up somewhere a fund where he could get the lousy dollars that these guys were insisting on. I don't know how he finally settled up, but that was my usual mischief.